Welcome to 2020. What's up guys? Welcome to another pottery video. It is 2020. I can't believe today is New Year's Day. I can't believe 2019 is over. But I wanted to do this video. So this we're at Mokomoki right now. So this is one of like five days that were closed all year long. So New Year's Day, Christmas Day, Thanksgiving, Easter. Maybe there's only four. I think there's four days all year long that were closed. Right after Christmas ended, we did a 75% off all pottery sale, which we have never done that before. So right now, these shelves are totally empty over here. So I'll show you where the shelves are. And sorry, the lights aren't on either. So these are the shelves. I had a few extra planters that I put just to, um, normally we're plumb full of pottery on those shelves. We're plumb full of pottery up on those shelves. Uh, but after we did 75% off, I mean, when you can normally buy a mug for like 40 or 50 or 60 bucks and then you're buying it for like 10 or 15, uh, things sold pretty quick. So we unloaded a bunch of pots from, you know what? I'm just gonna show you us unloading the kiln. So let's go back earlier today and I'll show you the unload of the kiln. All right, see you there. All right guys, here we are in the studio and we have both kilns full. So we are starting out with a bang. And one of my main things I wanna do this year is I wanna keep track of how many pots I make in all of 2020. So I tried to do this in 2019 and it lasted about a week. And then I was just like, oh, whatever. So we're gonna count how many, and it's how many pots come out. So even though I made these in 2019, I'm still just for my own psychological wins. I wanna say how many pots finished come out of the kiln in 2020. That's my my thing this year. So I think we're gonna get a calendar. I asked a couple people on Instagram and some people said, I'm gonna get a calendar right here and then I'm gonna write the number that comes out each day. So I don't have a calendar yet, but um, both these kilns are full and I'm not gonna count like, I'm not gonna count like all these little pieces, like I'll do little magnets and stuff. Ow, hot. Uh, I'm not gonna count those. So basically a mug, a cup, anything, even like tester little shot cups, I'll count those. Um, test tiles, won't count those, obviously. You guys ready? I'm just gonna speed through this guy and uh, show you because then we're gonna take all these two Mocha Monkey to put them up on the shelves. All right, let's do it. We just got the first kiln unloaded and a ton of cool stuff came out. I'm actually super excited about it. Um, so this is that Aurora Green over winter wood, which turned out super good. Um, there's a bunch of those. And then this was kind of a little bit of a new technique for me. I kind of like fat, like took a carving tool and made these little marks and that, like I'll put in a picture of this one because it is really cool. I think I'm definitely gonna do that more. In the future, these purple, lavender mist, good stuff. And then some of the marble. So I have been testing, so this is just a clear, plain clear gloss glaze from Mako, right? This one is their matte gloss, or no, not, that's, that's doesn't work. It's their matte clear glaze. So this is like really an interesting look on that marbled clay. There's just, there's, there's just lots of good stuff here. So this, um, I'm gonna count them. 45, 45 mugs, cups. Now we're gonna unload the second one. We're gonna pack it all up, bring it to Mocha. We gotta price it all, 
This is a little bit of a project. I things always just they just are a little bit more work than I always think they're gonna be. Like, oh yeah, that'll just I'll just unload them and I'll just take an mocha and it'll take like five minutes and then it takes like four hours. But all right, let's unload this guy. We are headed to Mocha Monkey with the first pots of 2020. So exciting. It is exciting because we just have never done this before. We cleared everything out. And the Gophers, the Minnesota Gophers are winning right now. We got all the pots that we have up here. So there's like there's like 50 some mugs that went up on the shelves. And they're grouped, obviously, like in sets of what they are. And so I have this theory that for the longest time when I've been selling stuff at Mocha Monkey, I've always just like randomly thrown everything up there and it just looks full and kind of disorganized. And I feel like it's almost too much for people to really look at. And when you go into an art gallery or somewhere that really thinks about their display, the pieces are more, they're not so like jumbled together and there's not like just like this massive amount of them. So that's my theory is that I'm gonna try this here to be a little bit more thoughtful and organized about the display here at Mocha Monkey because I think it works well on Etsy to have like lots of different pots, individual pictures, you know, 70 different pots because you can get it organized and you can see it by scrolling through it. Whereas when you walk in here and you see like you know, if a hundred pots fit on this shelf, then if you see like 85 different pots, it's just like overwhelming and too like overstimulating from colors to shapes to everything. So this is what we're gonna try and do. So we, uh, we open tomorrow for the first day of 2020. So this will be all new for that. I think that's it for this video. I'm not totally sure if I caught everything, but I'll get some closer up pictures of the, of the display. Other than that, we're just gonna go back to the studio today get a lot more stuff done. Hopefully we're gonna be doing an Etsy restock end of January. We're gonna have some Valentine's mugs in there. That's it for this video. This was kind of kill unloading slash display experimentation slash welcome to 2020. All right, if you haven't already, hit subscribe, like, comment, share. We got so many good videos coming. Can't wait to get back on the making video train. All right, see you guys in the next video. Yeah, I'm strapped in